Tesla has stated that it's shifting to cheaper lithium ion phosphate batteries globally, a move away from the chemistry used to power most electric cars as prices for key materials soar. The switch to those batteries will apply to Tesla's standard range vehicles, the company said in its third quarter earnings release, confirming a strategy flagged last year to use the budget components to deliver lower cost models. Most of the auto industry relies on nickel and cobalt in lithium ion batteries to boost electric car performance. Yet supplies of both materials are constrained and ethical issues have long dogged cobalt mines in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, the top supplier. Nickel, which helps provide power and range, is also prone to fire, a risk the industry is spending billions to control, most notably in the recall of 141,000 Chevrolet Bolt EVs and Bolt EUVs for fire risk. Battery supplier LG Electronics has agreed to pay $1.9 billion of the $2 billion in recall costs. Understanding Current Batteries Batteries are solid-state devices that store and release electrical current, powering an array of consumer electronics, cars, home utilities, and other devices. Lithium-ion is the key ingredient in most batteries. Lithium-ion is also the main component of most rechargeable batteries. Rechargeable batteries have become widely used in many applications. Different variations of them can now be found in everything from mobile phones and tablets to laptop computers and electric vehicles. While microchips and integrated circuits have become exponentially more powerful, smaller and cheaper battery technology has lagged. Improvements in lithium-ion batteries have been small and incremental. In a modern smartphone, the computational effort is packed into a tiny portion of the device, while the battery takes up most of the available space. The battery is also a large factor in the total cost of the device. For electric vehicles, the problem is compounded. Electric cars are essentially an array of battery packs on wheels. Under the hood, you'll find batteries and a battery-charged motor, which alleviates the need for any gas. Lithium, however, can be an unstable substance. Therefore, the batteries must be built carefully so they avoid damage during a typical car accident. Even small amounts of exposure to air or water can make lithium burst into flames. Ensuring that each battery is properly sealed and secured is an additional cost. Tesla Battery Investor Day Tesla hosted its highly anticipated Battery Technology Day recently, and analysts are using phrases like long-anticipated, major milestones, and mind-blowing to describe the event. CEO Elon Musk added to the hype recently, tweeting that many exciting things will be unveiled. He closed the tweet with a lightning bolt emoji. The event was a big deal for the stock, as it will help shape investor opinions about the future of electric vehicles and Tesla's technological lead. To prepare for the battery day, investors divided likely topics into a few categories, battery costs, battery reliability, and battery capacity. New battery technologies were also discussed, with the investors ready to hear about stationary power, which includes Tesla's Powerwall business. Battery costs. Costs are a big deal for all EV makers, including Tesla. Historically, electric vehicles have been more expensive upfront than comparable gasoline-powered models. That is essentially because high-tech batteries cost more than a gas tank. Battery costs are falling. Some industry insiders tell Barron costs are down 75% over the past 10 years. The cost bogey today is for battery cells to hit $100 per kilowatt hour. Credit Suisse analyst Dan Levy thinks Tesla's event will focus on cost reduction, potentially offering $75 per kilowatt hour. Cost reduction can quote, help unlock sales at lower price points and thus fuel further growth, writes Levy. He rates the shares the equivalent of hold and has a $400 price target for the stock. Morgan Stanley analyst Adam Jonas also rates the shares the equivalent of hold. His price target is lower, however, at $272 a share. He asked in his event preview report, quote, could Tesla communicate plans to target a $50 per kilowatt hour? That's the lowest battery cell cost target Barron's has seen in a Wall Street research report. Anything below $100 per kilowatt hour, along with a credible plan to get there, should be a win for Tesla shareholders. Reliability. Wedbush analyst Dan Ives thinks a million mile battery will be quote, front and center on Tuesday. That's a battery that can last a million miles through all the charging cycles. A battery like that would last longer than the car body and open up a reuse and recycling opportunity. Battery reuse is another factor in cost reduction. Ive rates Tesla shares hold and has a $380 price target for the stock. 
New Street Research analyst Pierre Farragou also rates shares hold. His price target is $300 a share. Farragou has a different opinion on the million mile battery. He thinks it's irrelevant to the long-term success of Tesla. Other automakers can achieve the same thing, so he believes battery reliability won't help Tesla differentiate itself from its competition in the long run. Capacity. Farragou instead thinks Tesla's secret project, Roadrunner, could be big. Roadrunner is an internal project, apparently designed to improve all aspects of battery design and manufacturing. The key to success here is to evolve chemistry, the design of the cells, and of the entire powertrain, as well as manufacturing of all of these components altogether, writes Farragou, adding, quote, the current setup is suboptimal. Tesla co-develops chemistry and cell architecture and doesn't manufacture. We see key benefits in bringing all under the same roof. Farragou also discounts the importance of giant Terra factories, which are, in theory, orders of magnitude larger than Tesla's Nevada Gigafactory. Capacity still matters. Tesla has enough battery capacity to make roughly 600,000 to 700,000 vehicles a year. The company will have to ramp up capacity to meet projected growth rates. Farragou believes investors want to know Tesla will have enough capacity to make 2 million cars by 2025. That implies a battery capacity increase of about three times between now and then. Tesla has about 63 gigawatt hours of battery capacity currently. Morgan's Jonas forecasts Tesla to be producing 439 gigawatt hours of batteries by 2030. That's a seven-fold increase in 10 years, or about 21% growth a year on average. Any guidance from Tesla management about capacity can be compared with those figures. Technology. Startup QuantumScape is becoming a publicly traded company by merging with SPAC. It plans to bring a solid-state battery technology into the EV market. Solid-state batteries have more power density. More electricity can be essentially shoved into a smaller unit, which lowers costs and improves weight. With solid-state competitors targeting solid-state power density above 400 watts per kilogram, we'd expect Tesla to give its anticipated time for reaching such levels," wrote Oppenheimer analyst Colin Rush in a report previewing Battery Day. Today's batteries have about 260 watt-hours per kilogram capacities. Musk tweeted about higher energy density batteries recently, saying they were probably three to four years away. Rush qualifies Tesla as a bull. He rates Tesla stock buy and has a $451 target for shares. Stationary power. Investors shouldn't forget about stationary power. Stationary storage growth, while solid, has been far off Tesla's prior stated goals, writes Levy. In 2014, Tesla cited a goal of reaching 15 gigawatt hours of Tesla energy volume by 2020. Last year, they had only 1.7 gigawatt hours. One problem is battery cell capacity has been constrained. Tesla has been busier building cars. The storage market, according to Levy, is nascent, but represents upside as costs come down and capacity ramps up. Tesla's Powerwall The Powerwall is the home battery. The first generation Powerwall was launched in 2015. An updated Powerwall 2.0 was announced in October 2016 with twice the storage capacity of the original. In 2020, two Powerwall batteries with supporting hardware cost $17,000. Installation can also cost anywhere from $3,500 to $8,000, according to EnergySage, a platform that researches and compares solar installation prices and companies. To install the Powerwall as part of a solar plus storage system requires an energy system like solar. An average of 5 kilowatt hours of solar energy systems cost between $8,500 to $16,000, depending on the location and the equipment. Although it might be costlier than other options in the initial stages, installing a solar plus storage system can be a worthwhile investment. The Powerwall can be used as a backup generator. Tesla owners can also use Powerwall for the home as well as charging electric vehicles. The stock. To be sure, this is a lot to follow. Ultimately, investors will want to be convinced that Tesla's technological lead is sustainable and that it has enough capacity to make at least 2 million cars by 2025. With those milestones met, bulls can justify higher than average profit margins and growth out into the future. CEO Elon Musk took the long view when he tweeted that what is announced will quote, not reach serious high volume production until 2022. Tesla shares are up more than 400% year to date, far better than comparable runs on the Dow Jones Industrial Average and S&P 500. So what do you think about Tesla's solid state batteries? 
would they be able to deliver effectively? Let us know in the comment section below.